the people who are going to do the best in short-term rentals are the ones that are forward thinking. And, and just like you with noise aware who said, I've got this problem and this is how we can, can solve it. And, you know, and it's, it's been a positive thing for you. So if you can kind of dive in a little bit more to noise aware and how it works and, and how people can, can use that. Sure. And I've, I find it necessary to always say this. I don't work at Noiseware anymore. I resigned from the board because I just wanted like complete independence uh, with rent responsibly. Um, that, that said, I started the company to solve my own problem. Well, excuse me. I started trying to solve my own problem, which led to a solution for me. Um, my co-founder now, the CEO, Andrew Schultz, brilliant guy. He's an electrical engineer with software uh, education, Georgia Tech. Again, br brilliant guy used to build radar systems for the US military. So I went to him and said, hey, I met him at uh, the Dallas Entrepreneur Center. I mean, this is such a classic story of just like every yeah. short term <laughs> person has like some version of this, you know, some hack that they figured out to solve their own problem. But this was just one that, you know, to, to turn into a startup. But the way it works, what, it was what I originally needed. The back of the napkin, you know, design still holds. I needed something that could do three things. Number one, plug into the wall and connect to Wi-Fi. So I didn't have to worry about it. No batteries, no nothing like that. Persistent power it had to be privacy safe. You're inside a home, you have guests, period. Number two is it needs to actually be able to identify a noise nuisance issue, not just like a loud noise. That's where Andrew's you know, algorithm, things that frankly, embarrassingly, I don't understand to the extent that he has built something kind of genius uh, behind this idea. And then the last thing is be able to get notified in real time, which is connecting the alerting engine to a texting engine. And now it's you know APIs and all sorts of different ways to get that alert in a timely manner. Once you get that alert, you know that it's been loud for whatever amount of time you've, you've determined is when you wanted to get alerted. And then all of a sudden you have that, guess what? awareness of the noise, noise aware, you know, pretty obvious naming there. The first three names were like, God awful. You should have heard them. Um, <laughs> tell you at the end of the podcast, it's like a joke, but, um, but anyways, so the, the idea is we're, we're doing all the things that I needed or the, the technology is doing all the things that I needed, but the ultimate goal was not just to give me peace of mind that I would be the first to know, not the last to find out, but to give my neighbors peace of mind. Cause I want to be friends with my neighbors long into the future. And if I'm relying on them to be my noise monitor, to pick up the phone, call me, call 911, if it's something out of control, like we've seen where that goes, Google it, read the headlines. Like, I just don't think that's tenable. Now, does everybody need a noise monitor? No, but everybody needs a plan for when a noise nuisance issue happens. And so back to rent responsibly, one of the first things we did was create a good neighbor guide. It's you need a noise management plan, you need a parking management plan, and you need a trash management plan. Those are the three major complaints. Hmm. And it just walks through like, if, if you know what hits the fan, who are you going to call if you're, if you're not able to get to your own property? Like that's the kind of think ahead stuff that now at Rent Responsibly, we're building out is just like kind of getting people to start thinking this stuff through. And then there are a ton of solutions if you want to go the technological route. A lot of people live next door to the rental or whatever. Like, of course, you're, you're fine there. You can monitor and, and manage and all that. So that, I'm just trying to bring this into this like bigger picture, right? Is, is that uh, the tools exist. Noise aware is, I would say, the best solution, elegant solution to that problem. Um, of course, I would say that. If, but it, it really does work. I'm sure your audience yeah. <laughs> knows. But, um, but that's, you know, hopefully that answered the question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely it does. Um, I, I was trying to think through how, how I would use it. And I, to your point about the plan, um, you know, like if I'm laying in bed at, you know, 10 o'clock at night and this thing starts going off and, um, you know, I realize that there's probably a party, what, what are the steps somebody should take then? Like, you know, you're, if you, your guest is, you know, in that situation is probably drunk, you know, um, nine times out of 10. And so do you just call them up and say, I hear there's a party there or how, how does this work to prevent that from taking place? And then once you're in that situation, like, what do you recommend people do? Sure. Uh, glad you asked. I think this was one of the harder 
ironically, the technology, I mean, hardware is hard. The technology was almost easier to build than the completed solution. That takes a ton of education, a lot of hands on. I mean, what, so, so to answer the question specifically, number one is you should have a plan for that to begin with. So it shouldn't be a shock. I mean, number two, NoiseAware did create something called the night agent. So they do offer the service where somebody can receive that alert. It's, a, it's literally somebody who sits there with thousands of graphs and if, when the alerts pop up, they follow the protocol. So after 10 minutes, they'll text the guest because again, when you have the, the APIs connected, all the guest information is there. This is more for your professional folks who, who kind of have like centralized systems and things. But anyways, there is a professional service. If you don't have that in place, first and foremost, the, the, the data bears out that it's oftentimes the first day that the people have arrived that the nuisance issue is. If you can get to it within 15 minutes, 75% of the time, a text message and a text message alone will get the problem solved. You'll see the graph go down. Usually it's turning off a Bluetooth speaker. That is, I mean, this is not rocket science, right? What makes noise? Um, and people, the, the crazy thing is when people start talking over a Bluetooth speaker, it can be like deafeningly loud with like five people just cause they're, they just, that's what, you know, alcohol plus Bluetooth it equals you know, insanity. <laughs> But, um, but la last thing is, um, you know, there are, there are scenarios where nobody's responding to the text message, you know, maybe even somebody's called the phone, nothing's happening. That's where the plan comes into place. You should, you should always have somebody who can make it to the property within 20, you know, within 30 minutes. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's the responsibility of the host. And, you know, God forbid, if there's a really, really big issue, Public safety officials exist, 911 exists. Uh, we've had plenty of people use our system, NoiseAware, uh, to eventually lead to actually intervening at their own property for safety's sake. Very, very rare, but if you can nip it in the bud, the first 15 minutes, 75% of the issues go away.